all right guys welcome back for another video as you can see by the title of the video we are going to do arrow videos limited edition sets that i have in my collection now guys i don't have nowhere close to all of them i only got a small percentage of them um these things can be very challenging to get sometimes some of them can be very easy um, i've had some easy pursuits in getting some of them some of them is it's like pulling teeth it's uh, it can be pretty ridiculous um but I took them all off the shelf, and uh, you see I got a big old gap over there, and uh, I'm going to show them to you. I think we're going to divide this up in parts, so this will this will be part one. Um, guys, there's some great titles in here. Um, some of these things I had to chase for a while. Um, some of them I got lucky enough to pre-order on the spot. Um, you know, uh, especially uh, you know Arrow Video UK. You can get on there and you can pre-order. You can pre-order sometimes from Diabolic DVD most of the time. Um, sometimes Mike from Grindhouse gets them in, Grindhouse Video Tampa. And uh, I've been very fortunate enough to either get them through Diabolic, Grindhouse. I did get a few of them through Aero Video UK. And some of them came from eBay because they were already long out of print by the time I found out about them. So, <laughs> But uh, that's just the way it goes. But guys, I'll start this up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start this up. But uh, it's going to take a little bit, guys. So please go get yourself something to drink. Grab you a snack. Let's sit back. Let's have, let's have some fun. I know look, there's some people who's all about the Aero Video Limited Editions and they want to own every single one of them. Like I said, I assure you, I have nowhere close. Not even, yeah, I probably don't even have 10% of them. And there's a lot out there that's um, that I'm definitely wanting to get, especially like um, Aerodrome is one that I've always wanted. Fuck, I would love to have that one. Um, it's just so pricey, though. And, uh, you know, they, they went on to do the uh, the Pieces limited edition box set. That thing even came with, like, a puzzle and a vinyl record. Um, geez, what else? Uh, Argento's uh, Deep Red, Bird with a Crystal Plumage, Phenomena, which uh, Phenomena is another one with Videodrome. Those two would be, oh, I'd love to have those on my shelf. I'll, uh, I'll eventually get them one day, though. I got hope and a little bit of faith. It's just uh, every time I see the price tags that sellers want for them, though, it's, ugh. It's not for me, <clears throat> especially for my wallet. But anyway, guys, we're going to start this video off. I showed this video in my top three favorite limited edition um, Arrow video sets. And guys, that is this big bad boy right here, and that is the Phantasm box. This right here has to be one of my favorite pieces of my collection. I did buy this before it went out of print. Got this for a really good price. Bought this from a seller on eBay. I believe I paid 75 80 bucks somewhere. I think it was probably 80 bucks after shipping and everything. Got this from got it brand new and I was so glad to get this thing. I'd already had the um, the Will Go USA the box set um, that came out splashed for a minute went out of print. I think I picked that up at Best Buy for like sixty bucks. So I was very fortunate to get that one, but uh, I had to get this one. This one just had too many goodies in it, and I definitely wanted Arrow Videos a uh, limited edition box of it on the back of it, guys. Uh, you can see like they put all the specs on the card on the back. You lift the top of the box. This is a crazy design, but it's brilliantly done. You lift the box up, and it's got the sphere right there. Um, plus, you you uh, attach the hooks to it and everything. As you can see, the hooks are in the back. But uh, that thing is a fingerprint magnet. You touch that thing, it's it's all over it. But uh, yeah, guys, that's one of my favorite pieces. Um, guys, I won't go through them and unbox each one of them. That yeah, we'll be here all day for that. But um. I'm sure you could find, uh, I've seen plenty of unboxings on YouTube of a lot of these, especially this one, but uh, guys, that is one of my holy grail pieces. I love this series. Um, my least favorite one, of course, would be uh, Ravager. I think the special effects could have been done a little bit better. Um, would have been nice to see him have a bigger budget for it, too. But I do know that Angus Scrim, before he passed away, um, he did get to uh, view the film before he passed away. So that was really cool to hear that. And uh, there's a lot of goodies to be had in this box. Nice big book in there, too. Each of the films are like in this little uh, digipack. Um, each one of their uh, digipack holders. And uh, that sphere is a nice touch. This has uh, uh, been re-released again by Arrow Video. It's kind of like... Um, it's got all five films in their individual cases. These little thin, clear cases. I don't think it has a book or anything with it. It's just more of a conventional style release. And, uh, but I already have this one, so I really can't, 
I would like to have it, but it really wouldn't make no sense to buy it because there's nothing new in there other than different packaging. But although um, Logo USA worked with uh, Don Coscarelli to re-release another set that had a big sphere in it, uh, the, each disc is kind of like in this book. And I know that Phantasm 2 got a, um, a, 4K, a 4K scan restoration and also I believe it was a gore scene that was taken out has now been reinserted exclusively just for that set. But again, it's it's a hundred bucks, and it's like, well, I got this set, and I got the logo USA set, I've got Screen Factory's Phantasm Two, and I even got a um, a copy of uh, Phantasm One on Blu-ray. So if I keep on, I'm just gonna own like seven sets of the same fucking franchise, and <laughs> this shit's expensive. So, but guys, if you don't have that set, that set's really nice. If you don't care about the sphere and that big box and all that stuff. Aero Video does have a different one. And uh, they kind of have one that's kind of like the next set I'm going to show you without the book in it. Um, this was pretty sought after. It splashed for a little bit, it seemed like. And once it was gone, it was gone. And then people started paying ridiculous prices for it on eBay. Um, not only was sellers charging some ridiculous prices, but people were buying it. And uh, guys, that is the house collection. Uh, this is the UK version of this release. We did get an American version of this release, and it was called House two stories it had the first house the first house film and the second house film which was the second story and uh, it had the big book in it but um, a lot of people stayed away from this one because it's region B but believe it or not guys every disc in this set works it's basically it's all region pretty much they just put region B on it I guess because they had to uh, you know because of law purposes or whatever it was but I'm telling you, I stuck every one of these discs in my PlayStation 4, my North American Blu-ray player, even the DVDs in this set, guys. It's all, it works all in American players, but that is the house collection. Like I said, guys, you got your four films right there, each one in their uh, individual cases. They all come with Blu-ray and DVD, and you got a really nice uh, hardcover book, and I just thought of a set that did not take off my shelf, and I'll have to get up to get that one. Fuck, I can't believe I forgot that one. Oh, well. Guys, that is the house collection. Um, I looked up and got this from a seller on eBay before it went out of print. Um, I think I paid, there's another one where I paid like 70, 80 bucks for it. And it wasn't too long after I got this thing. This thing jumped up to like 150 bucks and, and the prices went crazy. Um, Aero Video has since re-released this. It comes now without the book. And it, and it comes, and I believe the films are in the, the standard uh, clear Emory cases, but they did take the DVDs out, but you still get the Blu-ray films in it, but that's still available through Aero Video UK. And they do sales all the time, so you can get that one for like a really good price if you want to. But uh, the Phantasm set, the set has been released pretty much like this. And a box like this has the tall man on the front. I think that's red, white, and orange they use for the colors. And uh, of course, it doesn't have a book with it, but if you want it, though, that's available. I should probably go ahead and stand up and get that uh, that other set, guys. I can't believe I forgot it. But I did. Uh, starting this video off great. <clears throat> All right, guys. Next up. Um, I was really glad to get this one. Uh, this was this one right here goes for stupid money now on the uh, secondary market. Got a little dust on it. I haven't really watched any of these films in a while. But, guys, that is the Hellraiser Scarlet set. This thing's had so many different releases, too. There's another release that has all three films um, in it without the book and the fancy packaging. You can still get that one. Um, I think Arrow Video even done an exclusive steelbook through Zavi, which has all three films, and it came with, like, a pinhead bust with it. Crazy, crazy releases. But, uh, guys, this is, a, this is a great set right here. Um, inside here, you get a big book, and they're all in their big... Uh, they're in digipacks about the same size as the case right there. Um, like I said, guys, this is the first three Hellraiser films. Hellraiser 1, um, Hellbound Hellraiser 2, and Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth. And uh, Guys, this is a great set. A uh, good friend of mine, a uh, good buddy, he uh, looked into uh, getting one um, after this thing went out of print. And me and him just kept an eye on it. And finally, we uh, we found a seller who was willing to sell one for 100 bucks. And uh, so he jumped on it and bought it really quick. And uh, he, um, I believe the thing was he had bought one, but it was uh, Region B. And I was like, hey, no problem. I got the Region A set. So what I'll do is I'll give you the disc for re you know, the disc out of my set. You just give me the disc out of your set since I'm all region. 
and it's all the same features all everything's the same in it and i was like we'll take care of that problem right now so that's exactly what we did and uh but yeah even then buying that set at 100 bucks that was about the cheapest we could really find it um I mean, we were seeing that thing sell for like 150, 175, and now they sell even more. But uh, that was a great set though to add to the collection. I still got the J card. I always keep the J cards with everything that comes with my stuff. Um, even the little, uh, the ones for the steel books, uh, whatever. Um, I keep everything with them, and uh, it's got a little dust on it. But like I said, guys, I really haven't cracked this thing open in a while and watched the films. It was a Christmas present from my wife one year, a couple years back. And uh, believe her, at all places she bought it from, she bought it on Amazon. I think she got a pretty good price on it. That was before it went out of print, though. So, yeah, guys, that uh, the Scarlet set's really nice. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people could. I've heard a lot of people say pretty much the first three Hellraiser films is the most important. After Hellraiser three, that franchise kind of takes a dip and goes down. It's been so long since I watched any of the rest of them. I think I watched Bloodline. Like. Six, seven years ago. It was a long time. I barely remember any of them films, but of course, uh, uh, the first two Hellraiser films are my favorite. Even Hellraiser 3 to me can be a little, I gotta be in the mood for that one. And the right mood for it, especially. But uh, Joe Bob Briggs just uh, showed Hellraiser 2 not too long ago, and he had Doug Bradley as a special guest on the show, and uh, I forgot the, the actress's name, but she was in uh, Hellraiser 1 and 2, and she joined Doug Bradley. And, uh, Guys, if you ever seen a Doug Bradley interview before, Doug Bradley sure does like to talk about himself a lot. Doug Bradley won't talk shit. He won't say nothing about another film, a director, or nothing. The only thing Doug Bradley wants to ever talk about is fucking Pinhead. And, of course, the uh, the man himself who uh, directed those, well, wrote those films. And that is Clive Barker. But, uh, yeah, that's just my take on it, though. I am not trying to call him a douchebag or an asshole or nothing like that. It's just every time I see Doug Bradley do an interview, man, that dude is obsessed with talking about himself. Next up, guys. <clears throat> this is a really cool uh, box to get. I was just talking to uh, my good buddy Cody. Uh, Shenay Guns won about this set. And um, this is a really cool thing to Arrow Video done. I do have Volume 1. I just need to finally get around to getting Volume 2, and I will eventually. Um, hopefully I'll get that before it goes out of fucking print and I gotta pay, a, you know, a testicle and a liver to get it, but, um, guys, that is the American Horror Project Volume 1. That's a pretty cool, uh, box set right here. For basically, from what I gather, is these three films that's in this set. There's three films in here that was never gonna be released. They were pretty much salvaged, they were saved. Uh, basically, three film, uh, you know, film canisters that were, were found in, like, this freight, um, container. And Arrow Video got a hold of them. Uh, I guess they uh, found uh, whoever was uh, holding the rights to them at the time and got it all together and got everything in order and released this bad boy. But uh, the three films that's in this set, guys, is uh, Malatesta's Carnival of Blood, which I, I'll agree with Cody. That's definitely the the big that the best film in this box set. Um, the Witch Who Came from the Sea, which was pretty good to me. I liked it. Um, it, it dragged. It was a slow burn, that's for sure. Not really a whole lot much happens in that movie, but it's all right, though. And uh, The Premonition, which I really can't remember jack shit about that film. But uh, that is the American Horror Project. Uh, guys, I'll turn it over on the side right there. You see they got them in three Emory cases, cases right there for each individual film. And they got the book, uh, the book on the side right there as well. I um, got that on eBay. You land it for a pretty good price. I still think I might have paid a little too much for it, but... Um, I know it's out of print now and it goes for fucking stupid money and I didn't pay nowhere near that price but um that's the thing about these limited edition sets once they're gone man the secondary market becomes a bitch but um yeah this is a really cool set and uh I, you know it must have did really good for them because they released a uh you know a second volume and uh, that uh, volume two also has uh, three different films in it it comes with a book and all that good stuff I just gotta get around to getting that thing just holding off procrastinating and that never works out well for me because I'll procrastinate and then I'll have to turn around and pay some stupid money for the shit. Uh, next up, I ordered this off of uh, Amazon UK. They had a really good price on it at the time. And I ordered this one and a few others from Amazon UK because I just couldn't beat the couldn't beat the price on it. And uh, guys, that is the Ring Collection. Uh, these are the original Japanese Ring films. 
free films in there. You get Ring, Ring 2, and Ring 0. It's got the book in with it. Um, Arrow Video. Ah, sorry, guys. That, that labels, the sides are white, and they're just glaring all over the place. I'll try to hold it back. But you get all three films on a, their individual Amory cases in a book. Um, this sold must have sold really well, or they just didn't print a lot of them, because this bitch went pretty fast. And uh, before we knew it, Arrow Video was uh, reprinting this, but it was a white box, and it came without the book. So um, that's available if you if you guys are interested in it. And that I saw that one, the house set that they reprinted, um, and that new Phantasm set that the, the the collection they have now, not the big box, but the one that consolidated that looks like one of these releases. Um, always keep seeing those pop up in the Arrow Video Cell, and they knock the price in half usually. You just have to, especially if you're here in America, you have to convert, um, which you know, you have to convert the U.S. dollar to uh, GBP, which is the Great British Pound, and uh, go with it that way. So how many sets have I shown you guys? One, two, three, four, five. Let's keep going. Oh, that's one of my favorite releases right here. Holy Grail. I uh, got this thing as soon as it came out. Me and my buddy found a uh, seller on eBay, which must have had a connection with Aero Video's distribution. I have no idea the story, but me and him both paid, I think it was $28. Found mine first, instantly clicked on it and bought it, and it turns out he had, he had like an available quantity on there when they first released this thing. But that is uh, Reanimator, the limited edition set. This thing sells for fucking stupid money now. Um, I recently just saw one on eBay sell for like 109 bucks or something like that. And uh, i telling you guys, whenever they first released this thing, I paid like 28 bucks for it. Uh, I got on the phone with my buddy and I was like, hey, grab one of these real quick. Uh, you know, this is one of those Stuart Gordon films. It's, it's going to sell really quick, especially the notoriety this film has. I mean, we're talking about fucking Barbara Crampton, Jeffrey Combs, uh, just all good shit right here. But um, I'm trying to think of what's the, uh, David Gale. Uh, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure everybody's seen this film, and uh, I'm sure the member, the one of the most memorable scenes um, in there is, of course, is the decapitated head about to give head. But uh, one of my favorite scenes is uh, Jeffrey Combs and uh, the character Dan are in the basement, and they're trying to catch this fucking. You know, they're trying to like kill this cat that came back to life, and they're running around in the dark in this basement, and. Uh, they're trying to act out the scene like they're really chasing something, but there was nothing really there, of course. And uh, when the scene starts up, Dan comes down the stairs, and there's this overhead light that's hanging down, and he accidentally bumped it. And he wasn't supposed to bump it whenever they were rolling camera. So he bumped it, and the light's swinging back and forth, really fucking up like the whole scene of the film. And he looks over at Stuart Gordon. Stuart Gordon's like, no, this looks great. Keep going. And they, that whole scene is one shot. And uh, it just shows him and Jeffrey Combs going around this basement with like a broom and all kinds of shit, just swinging at this mystery, <laughs> this cat that's not even there. <laughs> it's one of the funniest fucking scenes. And uh, especially the dead cat when uh, the note, uh, the uh, the line from uh, Jeffrey Combs, it's like, why didn't you leave me a note? What would the, Dan, what would a note say? Cat dead, details later. Fucking love that shit. Who doesn't love this film? Guys, if you've never seen this movie and you're watching this video, stop this fucking video right now and go watch this movie. This movie is phenomenal. This, I think this is, uh, you know, this one from beyond. Um, you know, I like this one a little bit more than Bride of Reanimator, which I'm going to show you next. But this one and From Beyond, if I take my pick, it would be Reanimator. But From Beyond is like a fucking, it's right there with it. But, uh, yeah, God, that's a great set, too. And I think Arrow Video won, like, an, a, phys a physical media award for this set. And there was a lot of people in the UK and all over who were really pissed because this never got a Region B release. This was only released here in the States as a Region A for this set. So there was a lot of people from the UK who was trying to import this set from America. And there was a lot of, especially with the uh, with some of the groups I'm in, especially some of the YouTube uh, the YouTubers I watch. There was a lot of pissed off people that was like, hey, like we, we fucking want that set bad. And they had to pay for some import shit. It was crazy. <clears throat> that is a great release. Um, I missed out on this one. It first came out. It was a little long story, and I don't want to drag it out too much. <clears throat> but anyway, guys, next up, of course, I showed you Reanimator. This was the next set. Actually, this set came first, and then they released An Reanimator way after this one. But that's brought of Reanimator. Um, it's a great release. There's one bad fault about this release, and I'll tell you. Um, usually, like with the Arrow Video, the Arrow Video limited edition sets, like Reanimator and the rest of them, 
for the most part. Um, they come with this really good thick cardboard stock. But for this one, just like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 one I'm going to show you next, they're very flimsy. Like everything that houses all the goodness in the inside right there, it's very flimsy. <clears throat> so this was, uh, this was all region set. And I remember here for America, one of the biggest things, uh, one of the biggest distribution uh, outlets that was selling this was Diabolic DVD. However, when all the freight finally got here to America for Diabolic to get it, to finally distribute it, most of them were damaged. I think uh, I think Jesse at one point said like 80% of all the stock of this film that he got in, they were all damaged. Like the fucking cases were crushed. Um, you know, just probably, it was probably in one of those freight units where shit was just swinging, moving around and heavy shit fell on it. This shit's not really durable. And uh, a lot of it, a lot of the shit was uh, damaged. So there's only so many units that were pressed up that's floating around out there that's in really good shape. Um, this one, looking at it, it does have it does have a little bit of stuff on it. I was lucky enough to get on eBay and find a seller a seller who had a decent copy of this that wasn't crushed to shit and back, and uh, has everything with it. The book, the uh, you know, uh, disc are fine, all that good stuff. Uh, I still had the J card with it, but I got a really good copy of this. I think I paid forty five dollars for this, so it wasn't too bad because I'm seeing what it sells for now, and it's fucking ridiculous but uh so brian using the film brian using always worked with uh stuart gordon that's uh that's charles band's buddy right there uh brian used the went on to uh direct society which everybody who's ever seen that movie you know the first hour of society is basically a bullshit movie it looks like <clears throat> some fucking orange county episode like the oc and then, like, the last 20, 30 minutes of that fucking movie takes you to this place that you've never seen before. And it's <laughs> so fucked up. <laughs> anyway, that's Broader Reanimator, guys. I did kind of want to tell the story of how a lot of that got damaged. I do. Uh, there's a lot of people who know that story, and there's a lot of people who don't. But apparently, when Aero Video pressed all these up, and then they sent them over here to America, just the, the stuff that they made, they printed that was available for America... These things were just mangled to shit. Uh, not only Jesse from Diabolic DVD 2. I remember there was a couple of other uh, distributors. Um, they would have like a stock photo on their uh, website or whatever it was of the cover of this. And under it, it would say like there is some there are some issues with this box. Basically saying that your shit's probably going to come damaged. So they only had so many of them that really didn't take uh, a lot of damage from the shipping. So that's unfortunate. <clears throat> Like I said, guys, to find a good copy of that on eBay or, you know, anywhere else, especially like eBay, if you're looking to get one, it's not mangled to shit and got everything with it, especially like the J card, the book, and the case is not fucking crushed. They usually cost some money. So just a heads up on that one. Guys, here's a, here's one, another one I showed you uh, for my uh, my top three uh, favorite Arrow video releases I did in a video a while back. Let me see where we're at now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This will be number eight. And guys, this is a great release. This is the Tank Chainsaw Massacre 2. Uh, great release by Arrow Video. Um, again, guys, unfortunately, this is one of those cases that's very flimsy. Um, a lot of these got damaged over time, especially with collectors not taking care of their stuff. So that you don't eBay and try to hawk it for this crazy fucking price. But half the time, the box itself is all banged to shit or the digipacks that's inside are just mangled so don't want to go on too long about that but guys this is a great set unfortunately Screen Factory made a post yesterday saying that the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 from Screen Factory is now going to be going out of print after they sell off their remaining stock so that's unfortunate um, I said in a video earlier if I had to take my pick between this one or the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2 from Screen Factory I couldn't pick. I gotta have them both. Um, both those sets are very unique in their own way. Um, this one right here has some of the early works from Toby Hooper, a shit ton of special features. Um, it's a three disc set, 100 page book, and that takes us uh, Chainsaw Massacre Part 2 from Screen Factory. It's a two disc set, and that fucking thing is loaded with some features. Features is on there. That's on there is not on here, vice versa. I gotta have them both. This is one of my favorite films. I grew up with this shit. 
it was my first time, you know, watching this movie, seeing Chop Top hit the screen. That was my first time being introduced to Bill Mosley, and he became just one of my favorite characters of all time. But I uh, love the hell out of this film. I know this film gets a little bit of hate from, uh, especially the big hardcore uh, TCM1 fans, uh, especially since this film kind of went for like a dark humor, uh, black humor they call it, um, kind of a vibe. But I'm telling you, I love everything about this film. I could watch Texas 1 and then watch this one right after all the fucking time, and I do it all the time. And uh, to me, it's nothing. It doesn't miss a beat for me. Love the hell out of it, but guys, that is a great release right there. Um, I'll tell you this, too. When I was uh, when I got this copy, I waited way too late to finally get this thing. Arrow Video, uh, there's a little certificate in here, too, but I believe 10,000 of these were made. Arrow Video had these things on their site forever, for the longest time, and they weren't even expensive. Like I, I you know, of course, they were on Arrow Video UK. You had to convert your USD to uh, GBP for the uh, the currency exchange, but they were on there forever. And of course, I procrastinated for some fucking reason and let it sell out. So I had to turn to eBay and going to eBay to find one that was in really good condition. I'm one of those collectors. Shit's got to be all there, and it's got to be, it's got to be, it's. It's got to be new. It's got to look new, like not crushed and fucking mangled. But uh, to find one in really good shape that didn't have a bunch of dings in it and the digi pack's not fucking flat, I had to pay some money for this. I think I paid, uh, shit, I think I paid like 45 bucks. And the shame of it was is I could have gotten Aero Video UK a year before that and probably got this thing for like, by the time I did the exchange, like 20 bucks. So. Kind of fucked myself on that one, but I finally got it. And like I said, guys, I couldn't take a pick between this one and the Screen Factory one. I got to have both of them. Um, like I said, they, they stand on their own legs. So if you're looking into getting that one, guys, they do have a, uh, a standalone release of that as well. And it's always in a sale. So set that there very carefully. Three, four, five, six, seven. Because that was eight. Uh, guys, I made a video just for this release right here, so I'm not going to go into the whole bullshit with it that this film has uh, faced two different times now with uh, Arrow Video with the cease and desist order. But guys, that is the limited edition set of Django. I was fortunate enough when this did come back into print because the cease and desist order happened pretty fast after Arrow Video released it the first time. I didn't get a chance to get my hands on it, so... Mike from Grindhouse Video one Sunday, he made a video saying, hey, look what I got in. Arrow Video is putting it back out. Hopped on his site. I ordered immediately. Three, four days later, it popped up in my mailbox. And no shit, like a day or two, 24, 48 hours later, after I got this in my hands, Mike got right back on it. I was like, I'm sorry, I can't sell this anymore. There's some more bullshit going on with it. It turns out, yeah, another cease and desist order. So this will probably never be re-released again. I don't know the whole story with it. I just don't see Arrow Video risking it one more time, especially with some kind of lawsuit. I think risking it the first time was pretty bad. The second time was it's probably going to cause some legal action, some legal actions. Who knows? I don't know the whole story of it. Um, so fuck a shame, though, because this is a great set with the limited edition set, guys. You get not only the Django film, but on disc too, you get Texas Audios. Um, I know you can get Texas Audios in a standalone release by itself, but um, as far as the film itself, Django. I don't see Arrow Video put, putting this one back out again. And to look at for what these are selling for on eBay right now is fucking insane. But there is supply, there is demand for it, and there's only so much little bit of supply. So I'm sure there were some people that uh, hit up uh, like Grindhouse Video and Diabolic DVD, maybe Amazon. Maybe you guys got your copies in like I did. I would persuade you to hold on to them if you love them. Um, because I doubt Aero Video is going to pump this shit back out again. If you take that risk of selling it, you're probably not going to get it back. Not unless you're going to pay a testicle for it. So, uh, guys, that is Django. If you're interested in any more, anything about that title, please go back and look at my previous release videos. I did a video just for this set. But, guys, that was Django. All right, that was number nine. I'll tell you what, we're going to end it with number ten right here. I'll do another video. We're already 29 minutes, so... Guys, um, I bought the Screen Factory release of this, and then a year later, Arrow Video was like, well, we're going to really... Nope, I'm sorry. Just told you a lie. These were released around the same exact time. Um, Arrow Video and Screen Factory both announced this title, and I uh, believe that was end of 2018. Nope, summer 2018 at Comic-Con, I believe. Yeah. And, uh, guys, that is Candyman. This is a great release. 
Um, like I said, I do have the Screen Factory uh, Clickers Edition release. Got the deluxe pack with both slip covers, both posters. Amazing release. The only reason why I went and I got this one is because it's one of my favorite films of all time. I grew up with this movie. Scared to fuck it. I was scared as hell when I was a little kid and watched this movie for the first time. Oh, Jesus Christ. Tony Todd fucking terrified me when I was a kid. But um, the features on this one, there's a slight difference in the features on this one compared to the Screen Factory release. And I gotta have it all, especially with my favorite films. So, I believe Jesse from Diabolic DVD uh, put this up on his website saying that he had a few of them available. Hopped on there and bought it. I think this was like $35 plus $5 shipping. So, I put about 40 bucks into this. And I was glad. Glad to get it, even though I already had that Screen Factory release. Um, you got that book that comes in here with it, the postcards, and plus that double-sided poster. And uh, guys, like I said, this is a it's a great release. Love the hell out of it. That is Candyman. All right, guys, that was the first ten limited editions in my Arrow Video limited edition sets in my collection. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. We're here at 31 minutes, and I will do the next video. I'll count and see how many I got left, and we'll run another video right quick. But guys, as always, thanks for sticking around. If you like the video, hit the like button. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button. I'm always on here trying to put content on here pretty consistently. Uh, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. You guys know who you are, uh, especially for you guys hitting me up in the comment section and all that good stuff. But, uh, guys, I'll turn this one off. This will be the Arrow Video Limited Edition Sets Part 1, and I'll do Part 2 next. So guys, until then, stay safe and be careful.